Greetings Gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to show you how to do a wonderful, magical dessert. I'm going to make Baked Alaska. And this was requested by Dean Gilson, so I hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, it's it's been around a long time, apparently it was invented in 1867 to celebrate the, um, or commemorate, the purchase of Alaska by the United States from Russia and um, for $7.2 million a bargain. And if you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, uh, give us money if you want, we like that. And um, yeah, so baked Alaska, it, it doesn't sound like it should be possible. It's ice cream encased in meringue and on a, a sponge base. So, you know, it's hot and cold and, mm, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this, so let's get on with it. Right, first of all, I need to make my sponge. Um, it's a fatless sponge, so the ingredients are really simple. I've got 85 grams of caster sugar, 85 grams of plain all-purpose flour, three eggs and some vanilla extract, and a teaspoon of baking powder. That's it. So I'm going to make individual baked Alaskas and I've got these little sort of um, oh, mini quiche dish things. And I'm going to grease those liberally with butter because they are not non-stick. <laughs> Normally a baked Alaska is done as a, a sort of family sized thing and you just cut slices. But um, I think individual ones will be cute. Now to start making your batter for the sponge you need to first of all separate the eggs. Possibly one of my least favourite jobs in the kitchen. Now I need to whisk the egg yolks with the sugar. And the vanilla. And we keep whisking for about three minutes until it's kind of um, light and creamy. Now I need to whisk my egg whites until I get stiff peaks. Right, that's pretty stiff. So you need to get your oven preheating to 160 Celsius if it's a fan oven, convection oven, or 180 if it isn't, or that's gas mark four. Now I'm going to make up the sponge batter. So I've got my um, egg yolks, and what I need to do is mix the flour and a teaspoon of baking powder together. And we want to fold half of that into the egg yolk. Well, I say fold. I misspoke. Stir. Now we're folding half of the stiff peaked egg whites in. Try not to knock air out of it, which, you know, we always say that, but I don't exactly know how we do it. <laughs> and then the rest of the flour. And the remainder of the egg white. Okay. There's our batter. Looks oh, very airy, actually. So now divide it between your tins, or you know, put it in your one big tin if that's what you're doing. Well, messed up the quantities a bit, so I've actually got six um, sponge bases. So this goes in the oven for 20 minutes, and I'll probably turn them around about halfway through. Okay, time's up. Oh yeah. Look at me buns. I know they're not really buns. Oh they are actually, big ones. Squidgy spongy, yeah yeah. So I'll let those cool down a little bit in their tins, get them out of the tins, put them on a baking sheet to cool down completely. Now normally what you do is uh, just dollop your ice cream on top of the sponge and then cover it in meringue. But uh, I'm trying to be a bit, bit fancy schmancy. I want a really tall baked Alaska so I'm going to mould the ice cream into these pots 
which are just a little bit smaller than the sponges. And also, I'm going to put a dollop of, what is it, blackcurrant preserve in the middle, just for extra surprisingness. So I've got, um, yeah, yeah, shop-bought plain vanilla ice cream, because I'm useless at making ice cream. Well, I've never really tried. I've, I've, I've done, um, well, I have tried, but I don't have a machine, so it involves putting it in the freezer and uh, stirring it every half hour or so, and yeah, I forget. <laughs> so, pack it with ice cream and then scoop out a bit of a hole and fill it with jam. And then top it with a bit more ice cream. And when you've done all those, put them back in the freezer for an hour or two. Just about ready to start assembling the baked Alaskas, so I'm just going to cut the tops off these sponges. The ice cream might fall off otherwise. I'm really impressed with this sponge recipe, which uh, I think was um, Delia Smith's. Good old Delia. And we've got a spare sponge because uh, I ran out of ice cream, so I've only got five volcanoes of uh, ice cream and jam. I'm just going to spread a bit of jam on each sponge because, well, you know, jam. <laughs> now, to make the meringue, I've got six egg whites and 300 grams of caster sugar, powdered sugar. I've got these because I made something that involved six egg yolks last week. So they've been, these have been in the freezer. So I just pop those in the mixer and we need to beat them to stiff peaks, very stiff peaks. Plug it in. Which might take five or ten minutes, so go on have a cup of tea. That's pretty stiff. So now I'm going to add the sugar a bit at a time and uh, get that mixed in as well. Okay, so that's oh, lovely and glossy and solid. It fe actually feels like a solid thing. That's amazing. Okay, time to build the Bait Alaskas. So I've got my uh, jammy sponges, I've got my frozen ice cream with jam inside. Whoop, that's cold, amazingly. <laughs> we want to spread meringue all over it. good thick layer and you want to make sure there's no gaps in it at all otherwise the heat will penetrate and melt the ice cream and mess it up. And when it's all coated just use a fork to make some sort of swirly ridges in it and these will catch the heat and, and go brown and slap that in the freezer when it's done for well till you're ready for it but um, you know apparently you can keep it in the freezer for a couple of days. Right, they're all done and in the freezer and I've still got a ton of meringue left. Um, so I think I'll uh, uh, maybe make meringue nests and when we've finished all the baked Alaskas we'll be moving on to eating mess or something like that. Oh well, we like meringue though. Okay, now you want to get your oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, 200 for a conventional one or gas mark six and slam in your baked Alaskas for eight minutes. Okay, time has just gone off, so let's do it. Oh. <laughs> okay, we've got a slight leak there, but I'm not telling you about it. Okay, taste this time with Mrs. Eve Cooks! Hello! Oh, wow. I used to save my bus fare and walk to school so I could buy a meringue. I used to have a meringue every 
single morning on the way to school. That's why you're so enormously fat. That will be it. There'll Actually, not be any more not, videos because I'm going to kill him. Sorry. Um, of course, it's mostly fresh air. So, yeah. And sugar. Sugar. And <sighs> is it blackcurrant? And blackcurrant jam. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, mm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. That's outrageous. <laughs> Don't mind us, we're going to eat the lot. Oh, I love it because it's, you know, with it, the, the meringue's all delicate and just crisp. It's soft in the middle. I'm just eating that bit. Oh, yeah. Because as a grown up, I think of meringue shells as being a bit over the top, really. But this, this is a confection. Bit pink. It is. Mm. It's totally confected. Oh. Oh. And it's still, it's cold in the middle. <laughs> what did you manage to have it warm on the outside and cold in the middle? You know, ice, you know ice cream. Oh, is that what's in there? Mm hmm. Ah, so that's the melty thing. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Baked Alaska. Mm. I thought it was just about the way it looked. That, that is clever. Who'd have thunk it? Oh, yeah. Is it black ripple ice cream? Uh, no, it's just vanilla um, with black currant jam. Is it easy to make? Well, I've done it. I know, but is it easy? It's um, it's fiddly. Yeah. But... How long did it take? Oh, that's a day. <laughs> just waiting for stuff to freeze. Oh, so you can go off and do things and then come back. And yeah. Go off and do... Well, I like that kind of cooking. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Alright, cool. That is brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's do the thing. Do the thing. Thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs> That's really nice. I like that.